Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woke here, and I'm here again with some Dragalia Lost. Uh, as you saw from my summon video, I was able to get Halloween Ellie, which I missed out a year ago. So I just wanted to see, do a quick check-in to see if, it's been a year, basically. Is Halloween Ellie still good? And, spoiler, I'm just gonna say right now, I think she's still really solid. So as we go into this, just so I can say this out front so I don't forget in, later on in the end. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you have not subscribed to me, subscribe. And leave a comment about how you feel about Halloween Ellie. If you have her, what's your spear of choice when it comes to light? Uh, and all that other good stuff. So, this is kind of what I got for her right now. Um, Cupid. That's the, the dragon that she has on. The reason is, is because, of course, Cupid gives 40% uh, strength. And then also... Oh no, that's really all it. I I could have swore Cupid was the skill dragon, you know, like uh, like Shinobi, but I forgot that Light doesn't have very good dragons. That being said, after I've just kind of uh, poo-pooed all over Cupid, Cupid still has a very good um, skill because it's also a um, heal, which can be very helpful in some of the harder content, for sure. But that's the dragon she's got, 40% strength. Her warm print is Dragon Tamer. Uh, Dragon Tamer is Lance skill damage 40% and shadow resistance 10% max 15% I don't know why I look, clicked onto the lore and Her other C uh, C sorry too much uh, fake grand order her other worm print is bonds beyond worlds Which is HP 70% equal strength 13% um, And skill preparation 25% max 100% uh, And I don't have a good weapon for her yet because I literally just got her and I have no light medals so this will kind of her setup right now. Um, I think definitely her prints. I feel like, oh man, I really do like using the class um, worm prints, but they can kind of be hit or miss sometimes. I know the second effect for this one, which is just shadow resistance, really sucks when you put it on any um, any uh, lance unit that's not specifically like light. And I think it's kind of a bummer, but whatever. It's it's too. Um, it's too boxed in, I'd say. That's my big general feeling on it. But yeah, that's Halloween Ellie. I should actually look into the unit itself. I don't know why I clicked away. Oh god. Here we go. Uh, she has Sacred Maiden, which deals light damage to enemies directly ahead and activates skill shift. If the attack connects, phase 2 increases the entire team's strength, while phase 3 adds health restoration and skill shift ends when you connect again during phase 3. And then we have Mischief Maker, which is just deal light damage to enemies directly ahead and fills the user's skill gauge if the attack connects. So you definitely always want to be hitting it. And her co-op ability is HP 15%. Yeah, and that's her. Oh, she has gauge acceleration. That's right, because I opened up all her mana um, panels, so she's at 50. That speeds the rate of mode gauge decreased by 35%. So there you go. And of course, she's resistant to curse. So... As always, when we want to test out units, we'll put them against two of the most common events in the world. Meaning these are always going to be the two events you will always uh, always run. Obviously, um, I'm not going to just blindly go into High Jupiter. Not High Jupiter, High Zordiac because I'm not ready. So I'm going to go in here. Go for regular Zordiac. That's how you say his name, right? Zordiac? And go with this. Let's see how long he lasts. Now, I'm pretty sure I have auto and all that other stuff on, so I'll quickly turn it off just for this. Otherwise, this is going to be like a very quick, like, smash and smash and smash. Smashy smash. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm going to turn that off. Okay. Go here. Okay. Oh, he literally hit me. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Oh, I already have Dragon ready, but before I activate, I'm going to quickly go into the muck. As you see here, she's curse resistant. That means when you actually do the advanced Dragon Trial version of this, you can use her on this fight. I just wanted to show that specifically, hey, the curse ain't going to do anything to her. And Zodiac is dead. Man. This is the trouble when you're so high level. This is the problem when you're high level, but not high enough to actually do advanced dragon trials. Um, mainly because I don't want to go in there and ruin someone's, like, tr attempt. Especially when I'm not ready at all. But as you can see there, she has no problem there. She has curse resistance, no issues right there. The only thing that's, I think, kind of 
a bummer is not a right word, but like something that's definitely noticeable that you're not going to notice a lot of time is that her specific setup requires her to hit it three times. So in fights that are super short, she'll never actually get to the final, sh she'll never get to the final phase because the fight will be over. So it's kind of like one of those things of like, you don't always see it, but also it's good because the fight's over. You would rather have a quick fight than a, a long fight, right? Okay, let me see. I'm going here. Is everyone ready to do uh, she has a very good yell, too. There you go. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, I've never heard her yell before. Ha! Oh, I never noticed she yelled like that. Okay, there we go. This will be it. So I'm going to get hit by that just to show. Okay, see? She has no poison resist, so she is worse on specifically the um, the IO. But usually it's fine because light has so much healing. So if you have like Hildegarden, if you're running, the, ha, ha, if you're running a perfectly good light team, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Light still lets you. Oops, did I hit anyone with that? I completely misshowed that move. Uh, actually no. Okay, so light all light really stops you is from being able to go. Is able to stop you from going dragon. I'm sorry, the ha. ha. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go dragon to dead this because I'm gonna be unable to continue if I'm just hearing her ho ha every single time. Okay. Um. So yeah, she's. I'm just, so obviously, if you're playing IO and you're doing, I think for co-op specifically, if you're like starting off early up early early on and you're doing like you need to grind io and you're doing co-op i wouldn't choose her as your main head but obviously she's going to be perfectly fine as a side member because poison only really stops dragon so as long if you don't if you never go dragon then all poison is is you losing constant hp so it shouldn't be too bad is my current feeling of it but yeah there you go that's halloween ellie basically i think she's still extremely solid now i just want to look very quickly at like let me see go to light Go Lance, and then I want to look at this, well this is one hell of a competition. I'm going to look at hers, now let me see, this is a, uh, I'm not going to be able to say this name right, Anali? An it's like Anali? I can't, um, hmm, Anali is what I want to call her, but that's not her name. Can you say your name real quick for me girl? No? Um, anyway, Anali. Uh, she's basically the opposite of Al Halloween Ellie, so I don't really see a competition there from her. And then the other ones we got here are, um, let me see, they're three stars. So this is the only other curse resistant one, and I can't remember if you're curse resistant. You're poison resistant, so you don't even compete with her at all. Not a lot of competition for um, specifically spear light units, from what I can tell right here. Unless I'm forgetting someone, there has to be others, right? But let's look at the the wider like scope of things. So is she better than someone like Albert? They kind of see no. Albert is kind of poison. This is the thing. When I want to look at Halloween Ellie, you have to look under it as who are her fellow curse resistant like units. So let me see if I can sort out and be like, yes. Yeah, so anti curse. Yeah, other than that, her I mm, Summer Cleo. So this is something personal to me. I always feel like um, bow units are super not fun to play. So I would never want to play as Cleo. Cleo is obviously a perfectly good person to put into the team. That's that's neither here nor there. Um, we got Slayer. Yeah, I think like Halloween Ellie ends up being perfectly fine for her team because there's really not much composition besides. Anali, Anali, I'm never going to be able to pronounce that name right. So she ends up being perfectly fine. For a year old unit, I think she's fantastic, honestly. Um, her moves are still fun, her animations are fun, her sounds are fun, and as you heard from me literally using her, her going, ha, ah, is maybe the funniest thing I've heard in a very long time. Does every Ellie have that? That sound, by the way? Hmm. Anyway, that's today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, 
yeah and that's the end of it today tell me how you feel about halloween ellie do you feel like i'm missing something give me whatever you think you know whatever you have to say about her i'm willing to listen to here but i'm gonna say right now she's still solid and if you were able to pull her on this banner like i was and you did not get the main focus which was halloween mim i'd say she's still perfectly good like um secondary prize and if you love ellie then she's just another fantastic ellie for you and that's it that's the end of today's video i hope you liked it and until next time goodbye i kind of want to end it with another ha ah! ah!